One of the big inspirations for me of why I wanted to create a sneaker show comes from a real life experience that I had. I grew up in Atlanta and I was actually lucky enough. I worked for the Hawks when I was a kid and I actually got MJ's white cement fours after a game that he scored 48 against the Hawks. I'm actually a size 13, he's a size 13, so I ended up playing my junior year in his game worn fours, even though everyone thought I was crazy to do that. But I figured there's his sweat is in these shoes. It's gonna like osmosis, it's you know, like. Uh, I'm gonna drop 48. And I left those shoes uh, at home. I went off to college. I get a call from my mom. She says, hey, we're having a garage sale. And I immediately go straight to the Jordans. I'm like, you guys, she's like, don't worry, I got you. Like, they're fine. Come home that summer, I go to open the box to check on them. And there's like a pair of Air Force Twos in there. She has sold uh, my game worn fours. So I'm devastated. So somebody out there in Atlanta bought those things for probably 10 bucks at a garage sale on Mountain View Drive uh, and has no idea what they're sitting on. That was a story that made me want to do this and sort of helped me wrap my head around how do we make a show out of this is like this hunt for this thing that you lost back in the day or that you can't find and like what is that what does that feel like? The world has been an interesting process seeing it, being in the room and having these other writers around and, and just really like talking about story and like it's just a funny, funny show and the process and seeing how it comes together has been really inspiring. Handpicking the writers that we wanted and we liked, we've been able to visualize something, put it into action, and now we're laughing every day in the room, we're creating original stories original characters. Hi, I'm Rose Macleese. I'm Kara Brown. I'm Jason Belville. My name is Carl Tart, and I'm a writer on What Are Those? Dave Myers brings an incredible visual style that is currently unmatched in the space. I think some of the stuff he's been doing in the music video world with Kendrick and Travis Scott is top tier. Like, no one can really find another director who's doing it on that level. Devin is a father now. He's five years clean of his shoe addiction. He's changed his life, doing it for his kids and his wife now. But uh, he's starting to get the sneakerhead itch again. That kind of leads him down a, a rabbit hole of destruction when he runs to his best friend, Bobby. You should definitely get something else. What are you talking about? That's exactly what she told us not to do. A pussy says what? 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 My favorite character, I think, from first day, and which hasn't changed, is Bobby. He is optimistic. He has a dream that he set his mind to. He has a hobby that he likes. He's a nerd about shoes. He's that guy that's so funny but doesn't know it. As soon as I read the breakdown for him, I was like, oh, I want to pitch jokes for this guy. Oh, hey, didn't see you then. Bobby, he's just a hustler. He's got Devin's best interest at heart. Devin's best interest at heart? Yeah, I'm trying to make I'm trying to, I'm trying to make you come up. Dumbass storage. You ain't no dumbass storage. It is a dumbass storage. I'm sorry. We lost touch for like five years. I stopped talking to you. We didn't lose touch. Yeah, we lost touch. There's nothing touch. losing about it. I know where you was at. And and I just I just seen him in the line one day because <laughs> he all about the sneaker life and he don't even know it. And then we rekindled our friendship and now we're best no, friends we again. No, we didn't rekindle nothing. I, I seen you again. That don't mean we, you know, we not back best friends. There's always two sides of the story. And my side is the right side. We no, best friends. No, 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 no. Hey, what's up? It's me, Bobby P, a.k.a. Bobby the Butcher, a.k.a. Bobby Williams, a.k.a. AKA Bobby... Random Boulder that thinks I actually give a shit who he is. No shit, by the way. Oh, it is? Oh, thank you, I appreciate it. I'm fucking with you, it's hideous. Nori has got to be my favorite right now. The young 19-year-old, Latina, fiery, charged up. Oh, oh, so you think I'm Jesus then? Who's running shoes and is the most confident, cocky, together character on the show. I like that she's in this boys club kind of situation, but is just running things. She has a really cool background story for, for getting into sneakers and brings the kind of nostalgia and sentimental side to the way a lot of people feel about sneakers. It'd be cool to paint a picture of this culture. It's a culture that it's hard to necessarily understand if you're not into it. So I think that the show will do a really cool, very funny job of opening that curtain and, and showing what's going on with all that. You pull this off, you'll go home a fucking hero.